Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we are opening Sword and Shield Brilliant Stars Elite Trainer Box. I just picked this up um, at the store on Thursday. I was actually surprised to even see it because these are really, really hard to find right now. Pretty much anything Brilliant Stars. This is the best selling Pokemon set in a while. Uh, at least especially right out the gate like this oop, hit the camera this set has just been um, has really almost, honestly brought Pokemon out of uh, its um, bear market so this I don't know if you've noticed this set I mean I know it says brilliant stars I would have think it'd have a star theme as opposed to, especially on the box, as opposed to like blindingly white and gold. It's, it very much reminds me of the Celebrations 25th anniversary boxes. But anyway, let's get going. And opening these. I'm just really stoked to to open this. I love opening new Pokemon sets. I love just getting to see what we're doing on... I'm really excited too because this Sunday... And there's a, always a picture in here, guys, so you know. Um, which, this is Friday night, so on Sunday we're going to film um, the Pokemon video I've been telling you about with our, with our good friend Sean, who's very big into Pokemon. Here's just kind of a preview of all these. I like that this really kind of tells you everything about what's in the set and what all the, especially back here where all the special, all the special rares, secret rares, which I guess technically they're not secret if they tell you what they are, right? <laughs> the gold rares, I thought that, I think that's been pretty neat. And look at these really like full art. Uh, those are really cool, I like those. And yeah, just lots of cool stuff in there. I like going through those. But let's open this up and see what we got. And here is this set Pokemon rule book. And obviously what we like, the brilliant stars is they're down to eight packs. Here are the new... Oh, look at the gold on the inside. That's pretty cool. That is really neat. Here is our brick, and of course, these... Ooh, these are new ones. I'm so glad. They finally brought out new energy. And look at the... Look at the brilliant... The, the star pattern on that. That is... Fantastic. So these will be going up pretty much immediately on TCG Player, just so you guys know. We have a code card, which I play too, so, and kind of shiny dividers. Let me see. And brown counters. Interesting. Uh, not what I would have expected. And then your your um, bandage and poison and a V star. So this very much goes back to like the GX symbol that you'd have to say whether you used your V you know your GX power. So here's the VX version, the v VX V star version of that. I like it. Okay, so just these eight packs today. Let me see where I want them. Let's get going. So, of course, we just opened, or we just came out with the new Pokemon set. And what do we now have? The next Pokemon set has been announced. And Brilliant Stars is the ninth Sword and Shield set. The next set is going along with the star theme is the 10th set and it is called astral radiance and it will be coming out may 27th 2022 so we're going to try and start getting these 
a little bit sooner than we than we have been recently. That'll be the energy. And we're just going to go through all of these just because we're we haven't seen these at all yet. So if this is the same pattern, and look at the fire. I really like the new energy. I don't know why, but I just I like energy, even though. Like, I'll go and buy, like, all the old energies just to have them and, and play with them. This is cool. So, what do we have? Our commons. Starly. Shroomish. A new Piplup. I always love, I love Piplup decks. Uh, Turtwig. Double Turtwig. Interesting. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that before. A double turbo energy. I uh, see what it says. As long as this card is attached to a Pokemon, it provides double energy. And card this Pokemon, the attacks of the Pokemon this card is attached to do 20 less to your opponent. So that's the, the cost of that. Probo Pass. I don't think I've even heard of this Pokemon. This one's interesting. What is this? A, a compass? Compass Pokemon. Magnetic Tension. Switch one of your opponent's benched Pokemon with their active Pokemon. This attack deals 40 damage to the new active Pokemon. That's actually a pretty good card. I like it. Ooh, Primplup. And ooh, Dedene. Look at that. Out of the gate. Massive hit, I think. I mean, I'm Let's look up the price on this guy. So this isn't a... So if you're on TCG Player, this actually isn't with the Brilliant Stars. It's in the Brilliant Stars Trainer Gallery. Now, it's not a big hit. It's only a buck and fifty. But let's look at that. That is a nice, flashy card. What does he do? Dede -de or Dede -de <laughs> -de Flash? Dede -de Flash? If they more the Japanese way. If your opponent has exactly one prize card remaining, this attack does 60 more damage, and your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused. And it's a 20 plus. And a psychic. I love I like that card. Just the even if it's not the most powerful, it's not bad. It's not a bad card at all, but that is neat. I like it. And our rare is Wormadam. Another one I'm not familiar with. Uh, Matron's Anger. The attack deals 10 more damage to each of your Pokemon in your discard pile. And Scrap Drop for 90. Neat. So this, this video is just going to definitely be a kind of let's geek out over each and every pack and whatnot and I'm happy to have those videos when we'll eventually be opening boxes and then we will go a little bit faster that's going to be our energy rare and hollow and what do you think we got psychic okay so we have the new throw I always like how strong the you know throws are. You know, you know it takes takes three energies on them to do it, but 110 that'll kill most of your basic inner, uh, generic uh, Pokemon. Magmar, wow, there's a lot going on in that. A lot of uh, almost looks like a Christmas tree farm or forest. All the snow on there. Man, Magmar is looking interesting there. Staryu. Burmy. Sock. He's a, a karate Pokemon. <laughs> I love it. Flip a coin if heads discard an energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. I always like those ones. Pachirisu. Interacts with tools. Choice belt. The attacks of this Pokemon, or the Pokemon this card is attached to, do 30 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon V. Okay. And Luxio. 
Here is our foil. Right? Uh, is that gonna? I think that's the foil. And that is the reverse hollow. It's just not a not showing up very well on camera. Very kind of sneasel. The dark reverse hollows never look great, in my opinion. And we'll put that there. And then Lapras is our rare. Uh, if any of your Pokemon were knocked out by damage from an attack from your opponent's Pokemon during their last turn, your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed for 110 damage as well. Nice. Two, three, energy, those two... And what do we have this time? Ooh, metal. That star in this one really washes out. I mean, it's definitely not a, it doesn't come out as well as on the, uh, the, the ones with more color to them. Halucha. Or Halucha, Halucha. Uh, Buizel. Gibble. Multicolored gibble. Neat. Trap pinch. X. <laughs> X egg cute. Execute. It's like the egg Pokemon. I just think it's hilarious. Clang. Gabite. Torkoal. Is the coal Pokemon F reverse hollow double turbo energy? And our rare is Heat Ran during your opponent's next turn. This Pokemon takes 30 less damage from attacks for Guard Claw at 30 and Iron Hammer at 80 plus. If this Pokemon has any fire energy attached, this attack does 80 more damage, so possibly 160. Nice. Oh my gosh. Here I was in a previous video talking about how much easier Pokemon packs are than MetaZoo packs and Weishwars packs and whatnot, and here I am struggling with them. So, what are we going to do, right? All right, so what do we got here? Water. Another Piplup. Mincino. Carablast. Weasel. Halucha. Cleansing Gloves. Floatzel, or Floatzel. Sigilyph, try recharge. These are <laughs> text heavy. Uh, flip three coins. Attach a number of basic energy cards up to the number of heads from your discard pile to your benched Pokemon in any way you like. Ooh, I like that. I really like the uh, energy manipulation and the card draw and the discard pile manipulation cards. I do a lot in my decks with those. And then Psychic 10 plus, this attack does 30 more damage for each energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. So kind of punishing the, uh, the your opponent. Nice. Reverse Hollow is Dusk Noir. That is a dark looking uh, Psychic Reverse Hollow. It, I don't, it's not just my lighting, guys. That, that really is just a darker purple <laughs> than, than not normal. And our rare is Liopard. Okay. So I don't notice any... I haven't gone through all the prices yet. I kind of have them pulled up on the side next to me, but I am really only have it up for the for the, the big rares, these, these stars, etc. The ultra rares, essentially. I don't really have it set up for the others right now. Because all the others, even the rares, will, I mean, yeah, this is a new set, so they'll be a little bit higher, but at most they'll be a dollar or less. So, at least very soon. All right, so what do we have? A darkness energy. All right, 
Duskull, Grimer, I like that. That's the neat art. Shinx, Bidoof, <laughs> there's a plump mouse Pokemon. <laughs> Plump mouse has a size of an elephant. <laughs> Electabuzz. It's a very interesting 3D rendering of Electabuzz instead of the uh, John Art. Marnie's Pride. And I like this one. Attach a basic energy card from your discard pile to one of your benched Pokemon. It's one of these those like staple cards, I think. Love seeing them being being printed. Grottle. Grotly, Grottled probably. Once during sun drenched shell ability. Once during your turn, you may search your deck for a, a grass Pokemon, reveal it, and put it into your hand. Then shuffle your deck. I'm looking through my uh, <laughs> through my through my screen at these, not like outside of it. So sometimes it gets a little blurry, and I have a hard time seeing what it is. Berry, uh, draw three cards. Yet another uh, card draw staple. Uh, stadium, collapsed stadium. Each player can't have more than four benched Pokemon. Neat. If a player has five or more benched Pokemon, they discard benched Pokemon until they have four Pokemon on the bench. The player who played this card discards first. If more than one effect changes the number of benched Pokemon allowed, use the smaller number. So that's neat, because this will affect the other cards. Like, I've seen... And it might be an older set, so it might not be in standard now, but that have allowed you to have as many as eight benched Pokemon. I've played decks with that. And so nice that this even accounts for, well, what if both effects are in play at the same time? So I appreciate that. And Alcremi, I think is how you spell that. Alcremi, I guess that looks like a cream Pokemon, so maybe Alcremi, I'll go with that. Ability is additional order. As long as this Pokemon is the active is in the active spot, your turn does not end when you use Cafe Master. And that must be on a different card. Because here, Rainbow Flavor, this attack does 40 more damage for each type of basic energy attached to all of your Pokemon. Uh, interesting. So especially if you're if you're playing a a very heavy multicolor or multi-type, I guess, I, magic terminology, uh, deck. And especially for those playing, like with that Gibble we saw before, or that uh, Gabite, where you have uh, multiple colors needed in your deck. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Okay. <laughs> Three, energy, there we go. And what do we have? Grass. Okay, so in case you were wondering, my guess is that that's going to have a, some type of better rare. Is that, and I've seen this before, and they used to do this to, uh, the, the dark ones would be a little bit heavier, and so you knew that you weren't going to get a special card because it was the black or the green, and then the white ones were just like the normal, uh, or the special ones. But now it's reversed, where the dark ones generally mean that the pack you just opened has a better card in it. Like, so the first pack had this, right? Well, we didn't, we've only had white since then. So my expectation is that this card on the back will be something of that nature. And this is something that I know in the Pokemon community, a lot of people know. Uh, but the information I had on it was actually bad, and the, no one had mentioned that the colors and everything reversed. So, oh, and also, if you're wondering when Pokemon Live is coming out, your guess is as good as mine. I have been trying to keep an eye out for that, when they're going to reveal that information, and so far there has been no additional information since... September, I think, was when they announced the delay, and I think I heard something in December that said that it was going to be still sometime in spring of 2022, but I've not heard a word out of the Pokemon company since then about it. So if you have any additional information, please let me know in the comments below so I can let everybody know.
All right, let's keep going. Gibble, Trap Inch, Execute, Starly. So we're starting to see a lot of repeats. Shroomish, Probo Pass. I think we've seen every single one of those. Team Yells, Cheer. Shuffle up to three in any combination of Pokemon and supporter cards, except for Team Yells, Cheer, from your discard pile into your deck. So this would be another one of those that I definitely have on my deck. Sinchino. Our, we have a Trap Inch Reverse Hollow, so I think we just had a Trap Inch in this pack, so that's interesting. You know, we've opened, what, six packs, and three of them have had the same rare, or the same common. Um, though, of course, this one actually had it in the, in the hollow spot, but still, that's quite a bit. And so, yes, as, as, as I thought, Empoleon is the rare. So, yeah, and, you know, unfortunately, this is only a quarter as current market price. Uh, as, a, as a reverse hollows tend to honestly carry more value. Uh, but that does lend credence that if you open the pack and you see this on the back, you're getting a hollow of some kind. And I know I had hollows there and... I, I stopped that. <laughs> it really only matters what the better ones are, right? But that is something that I think is really detrimental to uh, TCGs recently. Is oh, see, here is another one. Is that when you, especially for kids, right? You spend like how much are packs now? Four eighteen at Walmart. Um, if you want the ones that have the coin, so lightning energy, the coin and the uh, promo card inside, they're up to five and a quarter, five fifty, something like that, depending on where you go, and that doesn't even include tax. And then to get at best um, for ninety percent of your ninety five percent of your pack, you're going to get a quarter card out of it. Is your best potential pull unless you get something really nice it's it's really really sad that it's it's there's that excitement has isn't where it was like 10 20 years ago um and this is something that you hear a lot of outcry with the magic community recently too where everything is so foil overprinted that nothing's special anymore so nose pass milsery Cub Chew, <laughs> that's cute, to Dene, which I think is just the same one as that one. Looks like it. Farfetched, Weevil, or Weavile, Fracture, I haven't seen him before. Team Yell's Cheer again, and ooh, look at this, Gloria. Oh my goodness, look at this pack. And so this one again is, oh my goodness, is out of the Brilliant Stars Trainer Gallery. And this, this one's market, oh my gosh, is 1944 right now. Can you believe that for Gloria? Wow. Yeah, this one's definitely going in a sleeve. Um, oh, and she, man, this card is just beautiful. Search your deck for up to three basic Pokemon that don't have a rule box and put them onto your bench, then shuffle your deck. Pokemon V, GX, etc., you know, V stars and whatnot, um, all have rule boxes. So a, a non V, GX, etc. is what you can search for. So it's a really good card, and wow. Okay. <laughs> okay, so here. <laughs> I wanna I wanna sleeve this guy right now. Wow. That's an exciting hit. I hope you're happy, Sean. <laughs> I'm excited. Okay. <laughs> and what do we have? Drampa V. So not a huge hit. Market is 70 cents. But, you know, most of the best decks always have Vs, Vmaxes, etc. Now, Vstars in them. 
And yeah, I mean, the likelihood that this now has another um, good card like that is low, just based on percentages, but that is fantastic. I like it. So what do we have for our V? A spike draw of 20 for draw two cards as a power. So draw card draw is always great. And this is a generic too. So in, in Dragon Pulse, 160, discard the top two cards of your deck. And so I like playing these because that's where you would definitely have the build up for, or the, the reason to go into your discard pile and manipulate that. And so I like, I like those for that reason. Okay, last pack of Brilliant Stars ETB to today. And yep, white border. So a non hollow is what we're going to get. And let's make sure, let's verify that, guys. Okay, and we have a fighting energy. And I know if Sheena was here, she'd uh, be on at me for my, my pals. <laughs> Shinx, Baidoof, Electabuzz, Halucha, Buizel, Ace Rolla's Premonition? I don't know another way to pronounce that. Your opponent reveals their hand and you draw a card for each trainer card you find there. Ooh, I like it. Morgrim, it's very, uh, very devilish, or, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a devious Pokemon, so, right? Friends in Galar, so that's two different kinds of draw three cards, so that's interesting. Pachiriso, so a wind up thunder 30 times. This attack does 30 damage for each Pokemon tool attached to all of your Pokemon. So, good card if you play tools. I don't do a ton of them. And Muck or Mook? Muck? I'm not sure. Sludge Street. The retreat cost of your opponent's poisoned Pokemon is a generic more. Shrieking Poison 90. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused and poisoned. Ouch. Okay. Well, what do you think, guys? I think, you know, four hollows in eight packs, that's pretty good. <laughs> uh, this one, obviously, is the absolute best one. I think color-wise and just neatness, I like this one the best, just because we see a lot of cards like this, right? But I haven't seen many cards like this, so including those in the new set, I think that's just fantastic. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and again, these will all be up on TCG Player as soon as I am done editing the video. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Be blessed. Thanks, Thanks for watching. watching.